Hey there, Growth Mindset enthusiasts. Welcome back to the Growth Mindset Company channel. If you're new here, we're all about diving deep into topics that foster growth, understanding, and continuous learning. And for more enriching content, don't forget to check out our website at www.wisdomwabashub.com. The dedication and effort behind the content on our website are truly commendable, and we're sure you'll appreciate the depth and quality of the information available there. Today, we're unpacking a topic that's a cornerstone in the world of international construction contracts. The Fittick Yellow Book 1999, with a spotlight on Clause 4.11, Sufficiency of the Accepted Contract Amount. So, what's the big deal about this clause? Purpose. Clause 4.11 is like the backbone that ensures the accepted contract amount is meticulously determined to cover all necessary costs and risks linked with a project. Think of it as ensuring you've packed everything you need for a camping trip. You wouldn't want to forget the tent, would you? Implications. This clause is a safety net. It's there to ensure financial security for both parties in a contract. It's a promise that there won't be any unexpected costs that could throw a wrench in the project's progress. But it's not just about the numbers. It's about understanding the project's scope, potential risks, and ensuring that everyone is on the same page. But here's the twist. This clause is like a piece in a jigsaw puzzle. It interacts with other clauses, creating a holistic picture of a contract. It's all interconnected, ensuring that the entire contract functions like a well-oiled machine. And speaking of interconnectedness, let's talk visuals. We've crafted detailed flowcharts and mind maps that break down the essence of Clause 4.11. These visuals are like a roadmap, guiding you through the intricate details and showing how everything fits together. It's all about providing a comprehensive view at a glance. Now, for those who love the nitty-gritty details, we've also delved into sample letters related to Clause 4.11. These letters are templates, guiding communication and ensuring that all parties are on the same page. It's like having a script for those crucial conversations. And we didn't stop there. We've also created checklists to guide the execution, application, and monitoring of Clause 4.11. These checklists are your compass, ensuring you're on the right path and covering all bases. Bringing it back to our Growth Mindset Ethos, understanding this clause is a testament to the power of continuous learning. It's about diving deep, understanding the nuances, and ensuring we're always evolving. So, the next time you're faced with a challenge, whether it's understanding a contract or any other hurdle, remember to approach it with a growth mindset. Dive deep, understand the bigger picture, and always be prepared. Thank you for joining us today on the Growth Mindset Company channel. If you found this deep dive valuable, give us a thumbs up, share with your peers, and hit that subscribe button. And remember, keep growing, keep learning, and always approach challenges with a growth mindset. Until next time, stay curious and keep growing.